It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Here I have 16 ounces of Super White Merkins chocolate, two tablespoons of Paramount Crystals to help with melting, a silicone mat, a silicone spatula, some paper straws, and some apple sticks, a piping bag, our chocolate chameleon food coloring. So here we have our Granny Smith apples. You wanna make sure you wash your apples and dry them. No particular method, just rinse and dry. Make sure you destem them. And then we're going to insert our apple sticks. But remember to check your apples for any cuts or dents before dipping. So here I'm going to use my 6.5 by 5.0 apple stick. This stick will allow the colored straws or any decorated straws to be placed over your apple sticks. So as you place them, make sure you insert, apply pressure, and once you do that, you can get your small paper towel a wet towel and just dry up any juice that comes up to the rim of that apple. So let's get started with melting our chocolate. Here I have 16 ounces of super white Merkins chocolate and two tablespoons of Paramount crystals on top. We're gonna melt this for 30 seconds. After the first 30 second interval, you wanna take your spatula or spoon and mix around that chocolate. And this will help to prevent any burning while melting, while going through the melting process. So now I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. So this is the second 30 second interval. And as you see here, it has melted some and I'm mixing it around again. Now, sometimes your chocolate may not melt all the way in the second interval, and that's okay if you have to put it back in the microwave for another melting process. So I'm going to place this back in for 15 seconds. This is the third interval, and as you see here, majority of the melts have melted. Now I'm going to utilize the heat from my glass container and just mix around my chocolate until those melts are completely melted. This process can be delicate um, when melting or going through the melting process. So it's important that you wait before you dip your apples. So now that we have our chocolate completely melted. I'm going to add in the chocolate chameleon food coloring. And here you see me applying two drops of coloring. And if you want a lighter tone color for your apples, this is a good technique to use by adding two drops and mixing it well. And as you see, a lighter pink. Now for a darker color, in the next clip, you're gonna see me use a half teaspoon of food coloring. And this will give us a darker color shade for our apples. Just apply until you get the half teaspoon and then add to your chocolate.
Now you want to mix that in and mix it well until it's well combined. And then you get this nice, vibrant, fuchsia-like pink. This is a beautiful color. So make sure all the white and the colors are well combined. So here I'm going to take my bowl and I'm just transferring my chocolate so that I can have room to dip my larger apples. And remember, after the melting process, it's important to wait five minutes before dipping. This will help with the prevention of the elephant skin. And the elephant skin is basically the separation of the chocolate after you have dipped. So let it sit for five minutes. Then you are able to dip your apples. And then you see here, we have a beautiful full covered chocolate apple Now I let my apples air dry. There's no need to put them in the refrigerator to dry. And as you see, while I'm dipping, the apples are starting to dry up and which they're looking very vibrant and beautiful. So let your apples set out to dry. And then the next clip, we're gonna do a drizzle. Now one of my apples I did nick and don't worry, you can either re-dip or you can take your drizzle bag and just create your drizzle lines right over your apples. So I'm utilizing the same chocolate that I dipped my apples with to create my drizzle lines. For all supplies that I'm using in this video, will be in the description box below. Just look to the right of your screen and you will see a triangle in the right bottom corner of the video. Click that and the description box will drop down and all the links will be provided below. watching my video and if you have enjoyed this video make sure you comment like and subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell to always let you know and it will remind you when my next video will post and if you enjoyed this video be sure to watch these next videos that you see here listed on my channel it's your girl robot to go and i'll see you in the next video